The lung is the organ in your chest that allows you to breathe. And there's airways that go down and spread out throughout the lung, and it's where air exchange occurs. And you can see on the diagram that the lung is surrounded by a membrane called the pleura. And the pleura is the place where mesothelioma is the disease that develops there. And lung itself is the the breathing organ of your body. It's where air exchange occurs. Air comes in, it goes into the lung and comes back out. The lung is in the chest and the lung surrounded by pleura. Now lung cancer is very different than mesothelioma in that it actually occurs in the lung itself and it occurs a lot of times from irritants in the lung. Mesothelioma is a disease and a cancer of the surrounding tissues from the lung different than the lung, it's different than lung cancer and so the symptoms of lung cancer are often very different than mesothelioma because it's actually in the airways. Where mesothelioma is more on the outside of the lung, it compresses the lung, it causes a lot of other irritation, and it's, just, it's a very different disease process. Asbestos and mesothelioma is caused by asbestos getting lodged. It actually is caused because there are long linear fibers that the body can't clear. The white blood cells can't clear them away and so they get trapped there and they can't ever get removed and they're there for tens and twenties and thirty of years and they're a long-term process and that can't get cleared and that they get trapped and irritate the pleura and the end result is mesothelioma. In the, in the picture that you can see there is a healthy lung which has the normal lung tissue surrounded by viscera and parietal pleura with the pleural space in between it. And then on the undersurface of the lung is the diaphragm, the muscle that helps you breathe. And that's the, the, the pleura secretes a fluid and everything is very, it's a very small amount of fluid in there that acts as a lubricant and the lung can expand normally and you can breathe normally. The diseased lung you can see in a patient with pleural mesothelioma, the diaphragm is involved with cancer, the viscera pleural is involved with cancer, the parietal pleural is involved with cancer, and it's actually constricting the lung, and some of which is even invading into the lung, and the lung cannot function. You can't really breathe the way you normally would be able to breathe. The lung's contracted, and your muscles of your diaphragm don't work. And the whole process of that diseased lung is that the normal relationship and the normal anatomy is altered so that breathing becomes very difficult, and there's um, other irritants that cause from that. Thing.